Okay, all right, so we are finally to our last um, tertiary. And let's see, that is, oh goodness, where did I put my green? Here we are. Um, and that is yellow green, okay? Um, I see, you can see I have just a small space. Ideally, you don't want these other things. These are very dry. I'm not gonna mix near them to take any chances. Here is um, our green, right? And we are going back up to our yellow. You will see, right here we start, we're going from kind of cooler back into our lightest of all hues, which is yellow and our really warm hue of yellow. So now we actually have a much bigger value difference between these two hues, right? This almost fades into the white because it's so light. This really is a lot of contrast here. Um, it's not super dark, but it's like kind of a medium to medium dark, okay? So we want, the, the value of our yellow green is gonna be somewhere in between this. It's probably gonna look a little bit closer in value in level of darkness, right, or lightness. It's gonna be a little closer to our green in terms of its value level. But in terms of its hue, it should really be that hue midpoint, right, that is not closer to yellow and it's not closer to green. It's like right in between, right? So here's my estimate of that, right, from before. You can see it's actually closer in value to this green, right? It's There's a bigger value jump between my yellow green and my yellow, right? But hue-wise, this is a good midpoint. And the one of the ways we see that is, again, looking across that border, you should see that flash of green, right? I look across the border here, I see an equal flash of yellow on that side. So there is definitely, you know, it doesn't really belong more to one than the other. It's a really pretty good midpoint, okay? Uh, but know that it will be a little bit closer, right, in value, in level of darkness to the green. Okay. Um, in order to get this, right, that yellow green, um, we want, okay, we're still operating with greenness in here. So we, um, we want to go with our greener of our two yellows, right? If we use the cadmium yellow medium, that's going to make this really brownish looking, Okay because of the presence of orange in this. Um, our cadmium yellow light is it. We're gonna use considerably more of this cadmium yellow light than we will our blue. Um, and then there will also be a little bit of white thrown in there too. Um, just again, not, not too much. We don't wanna cut down, we don't wanna make it pasty looking, but there's gonna be a little bit of that in there. Um, which one of our blues, right? Not our ultramarine blue, right? Because that's very purpley and that's going to make things dull and brownish. So we're already, we're going to go with our blue that's already kind of green, okay? Um, and so we'll use our cadmium yellow light, our phthalo blue, and some white. Mostly cadmium yellow light. I'm going to be careful here with, oh, because we're getting to the end of the tube. And that's too bad because it's so expensive. Okay, so I'm gonna try not to make a lot of this. Let's, I'm gonna go at least four of these, maybe even a little more. I guess the other option really is I can just make a smaller, put a little bit of phthalo, maybe like half of a blob, right? That, that might be okay. I hope it's not gonna be too much. We'll start by adding half of that and then see where we are. And I'll put a little blob of white off to the side and kind of add it in. I think that's gonna be more than enough white. Because again, we don't wanna make it pasty looking. Nice and vibrant. Okay, so let's do this. I'll take about half of this for right now and all of my yellow and start mixing. Okay. And then I'm not gonna introduce any white quite yet. 
It's such a nice, vibrant. That's why I, I love, you know, Thalo is such a, Thalo blue, the green shade that you all have, is really such a great color um, for mixing greens that are nice and vibrant and not one bit earthy, right? They're not great for painting things of nature, but they are really great for vibrancy. High chroma, right? Very high chroma. Actually, I am wondering if maybe we don't need any white at all here. And that probably is preferable, frankly. You might be a little too yellow, but I will see. I don't think so. Let's see where we are. I mean, we are probably a little yellower than this, but I think we might be okay here. Uh, you could probably throw in a tiny more, a bit more of your phthalo, right? So that was a really small amount of phthalo to like, what, four mini blobs of, of uh, it's probably, what, a third of a blob of phthalo and four blobs, four full blobs of um, cadmium yellow light. And right now, no blobs of white. And if we don't have to add the white, then it's probably better not to, honestly. All right, let's give this a go. Getting another chip here. And, oh, I like this. It's a little on the yellower side than my initial swatch, but I actually am not sad about that. I think I feel pretty good about this, actually. Just trying to get it smooth so we can evaluate it. Oh, that's good. All right. Now, it could be a hair yellow, but... Ooh. I like that, right? I mean, I don't know. I think it's I think it's a little bit yellower. I like that it doesn't have any white in it, right? And we can still get the of good value, right? This has a little bit of white in it and that bums me out. It's pretty close actually in its amount of um yellow, but I think this is really a good one, okay? So, I like this. So, we're really going with no white and we're going with four blobs of yellow, cadmium yellow light, and we're going with, what did we say, like a um, half a blob or something like that of our phthalo blue, maybe start out with a third of a blob of the phthalo blue, and then if you need a little bit of more, you can put some in there. But this is a really nice balance between my green and my yellow. It's not looking too um, yellow against here. It's not looking too green against here. So perfect. All right. Good luck.